Hello and welcome to the section 5 of the course Metasploit Extended Uses. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. First of all we will learn about various extended uses and then various commands. So let's start with the first video Migurt's Commands Part 1. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. First of all we will learn about what is Mimikurts and then what are the various commands available in Mimikurts. To use Mimikurts you can open Kali Linux and where we already have a Metropeter session. I will show you that how you can use Mimikurts commands. So guys uh, I am here at Kali Linux and we are learning about Mimikurts and various commands. So uh, we already have a Metropeter session right. We know various ways to get a Metropeter session. Let me open the terminal here and here you can see that I have a Metropeter session. Now what is next? To use Mimikurts commands, first of all what you need to do you have to perform privilege escalation and we know the overall process of privilege escalation right. You can check here if you have admin level access or not so you can type here get system and you can see here that it is not showing us anything and looks like that we don't have the admin level access. You can also type get UID. Yet is showing you, but get system is not working. So what we need to do here, first of all, uh, we need to perform privilege escalation, and then we will use the mimikurts commands. We know the process of privilege escalation. You can type here background and hit enter. So backgrounding session one. After that, we can search for bypass UAC exploits. So you can type here search space bypass UAC, and uh, after that you can hit enter. So you can see here. There are various exploits available in which uh, we can try with this one exploit slash window slash local slash bypass 4D helper. Let me copy this. Now we need to use it. So use space and then we can paste here, hit enter, set the session which is set session 1 and then simply type exploit to get admin level access to perform privilege escalation. You can see here. You can see here Metropeter 2 session open and we now have Metropeter session. Now I can again type get system. It is showing us that got system it means now commands are working properly. Now we are talking about the Mimikurts. So how you can load Mimikurts? You can type here load space Mimikurts and hit enter loading extension Mimikurts. Loaded Mimikurts on a new OS Windows 10. Did you mean the load Kiwi instead? Alright. After that you can take help of Mimikurts by typing help paste Mimikurts. Mimikurts is the tool. With the help of this tool we can gather information about the operating system. So if you type help space Mimikurts it is showing you these commands. Kerberos attempt to retrieve Kerberos credentials live SSP Mimikurts underscore command. This is the most common one. Mimikurts underscore command and a custom command. MSV to attempt. Basically others are to gather information about the credentials. This one we can use to gather more information about operating system. So first of all how we can use this one and what are the various modules available inside it. So you can type here Mimikurts underscore command dash f then column column hit enter. Well, after that you need to specify a function. What you can do here after dash f you can type here fu then colon colon hit enter and here you can see that it is showing you all the options. All the modules available inside like crypto module, cryptographic AT certificates, hash, get information about the system, get information about the processes, thread, what are the services running, privilege, how you can handle processes, impersonation, where a SAM dump to gather information about the SAM hashes. Inject, if you want to inject something. And these are the modules available inside the Mimikurts. So we can try a few of them. For example, we can try first of all system. How we can use this module. To use this module, you can type here Mimikurts underscore command. After that, you can specify dash small f. And then you can type here system. And then you can type a colon colon, hit enter. I have to modify it as Mimikurts. Enter, yeah. So it is showing us two options that uh, you can gather information about user and you can also gather information about computer. You can click your arrow of your keyboard. And after that, you can type, first of all, I want to get information about the users. Basically, this is the tool 
after that this is the option to specify function and this is the function and inside that you can see here this is these are the options got it now hit enter so you can see here that this information is available here about the windows machine now if i want to get information about computer so again up arrow for keyboard and here you can type here computer enter so you can see here that computer information is also available here we have tried this one right you can also try the process and the service or handle let's try the process and service so again up arrow and you just need to remove the option first of all now the function is process and then colon colon hit enter and you can see here that these are the options available here like list list all the processes start the process suspend any process resume stop any process so these options are available here mimicers underscore command dash f process and after that you need to specify the option i want to list all the processes i am trying list option and hit enter so you can see here that these processes are running in windows 10 machine which is our victim machine let me come up detailed information is available here you can see here pid ppid the information and the image system process is also available here you can see here these all processes are available svc host or exe and if you have started any application you can see here all right if you want to stop or pause any process then you can take help of the options you can see options are available here for stop for resume for suspend or to start so this is the process option you can try the service option we try the service option here with the help of mimicers the goal of mimicers is to gather more and more information about the system to get deeper access and then retrieve information now we are talking about the service i can type your service colon you can check the name of the module so it is service right hit enter now you can see here these are the options available here and with the help of these options you can check all the services available inside the victim machine so mimicers underscore command dash f service and after that you can type your list and hit enter so you can see here that these are services available inside the windows machine you can see here there are various services so this was the command after that you can see here that what are the services are available inside your system you can see here Akinetix is available inside my system. The Microsoft driver is showing you HP Mobile Data Protection and Host Controller is available here. Whatever service is available there, you can see here with the help of the option. That's why it is a very uh, important tool, Mimicuts, which can provide you deep information about the target machine. So that's how you can find out information about the programs or the services running in the target machine you can gather information about the users you can gather information about the computers now there are various options are available here you can gather information about the hashes you can gather information about the crypto so these options are available here you can use it easily